What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Discovery Crew video. My name is Sophia and today we're going to be challenging ourselves. Now my friends seem to be under the impression that when it comes to visual arts like drawing and painting, I am ungifted, shall we say. However, I disagree. So today we're going to prove them wrong. Now my friend Genevieve has painted this beautiful image that I'm going to try to recreate. In my professional opinion, the best way to start off when it comes to art is your ambiance. So as you can see, I'm out in nature. I have my paint, my water, and I don't have a canvas like Genevieve. But I do have cardboard that I've painted white. So let's get into it, shall we? First, we have to start off with a rough sketch. So I'm just gonna sketch the lines real quick. A really cool thing about this painting that Genevieve made is that it really emphasizes depth perception. Now, depth perception is our ability to tell or judge the relative distance of objects in relation to you, as well as in relation to other objects. In other words, it's the ability to see in three dimensions. Now there are a lot of ways to create depth in art. One example to create depth is by having one object block part of another object so it looks like it's in front of that object. The illusion of depth is also created using size. Things farther away from us look smaller than things closer to us. So when you're painting, if you want something to seem farther away, you can make it smaller. Also, as objects move away from us, they shrink so small that often you can't even see where the, they end. We call this the vanishing point. That's why it's better to use diagonal lines to create depth or 3D images instead of straight lines. For example, even though train tracks may look parallel in real life, you would draw those lines towards each other until they come together in the distance. That way you get an illusion of depth. That brings me to this. So as you can see in this painting that I constructed myself, instead of drawing a normal box like this, you can draw diagonal lines to make it look 3D. Like instead of a square, it's a box. Now that I have my outline, I'm going to start filling in some colors. There's two sections of medium blue and the two boxes seem to be dark blue and then there's two like L sections of a lighter blue and then two other L sections on the outside that are like a gradient. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve this gradient but I'm going to use three blues, dark blue, medium blue, and light blue and I'm just kind of going to blend them together with the paintbrush and hope that creates the illusion we want. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna move on to the lighter blues. Another skill artists use is using different relative proportions to indicate the importance of certain objects. For example, in Egyptian art, people of higher status would often be drawn bigger than people of lower status. But this can be more abstract too. Like if an artist really wants one object to stick out, they'll make it bigger than other objects. A good example is this polka dot painting Genevieve made. As you can see, some dots are bigger than others and our attention is drawn to those bigger polka dots. Artists can achieve the same thing using color. If an object is really bright in color compared to the rest of the painting, then we can assume the artist wanted us to know that this is an important object to the piece. You can see in this painting Genevieve made that the pop of yellow against the all blue background draws your attention to that figure. So I finished my painting and here it is. Drum roll please. Ta-da! Now, it's not exactly like Genevieve's, but I think I'm pretty proud of it. I encourage you to try painting the same image or any of the other images Genevieve painted for us. 
I'm gonna go ask my mom what she thinks. My mom liked it. Not that you need validation from others. But if you want to paint one of Genevieve's paintings on your own, share it to our blog on our website linked below. And if you like today's video and want to stay updated on more Discovery Crew videos, like and subscribe. Okay crew, see you next time.